Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click, and in this video I just wanted to spend a few minutes showing you how to use the variable input extension, which is part of the dashboard bundle that was introduced with the November 2018 release. So you'll notice after the installation under custom objects, you should have something called Click Dashboard Bundle. And you have a number of different components that basically enhance the user interaction and navigation of the ClickSense app. So I already have some data loaded. We're just going to jump right into it, uh, utilizing the input, create some variables, and create a chart and KPI object, just so you can see how it works. So what I'll do is let's just grab a field, and along with the power of the Cognitive Engine, it automatically interprets my aggregated sales data as 1.79 million. And what I'm going to do is just grab a variable, and I'm actually going to create a new variable, and I use the convention lowercase v, and the name of the variable. And we're just going to call this increase. And we'll start it out with a value of zero. Just click uh, close. And now we have our variable. So now what I'm going to do is go into my custom objects and grab the variable input and just place it right underneath the KPI object. Navigate to appearance navigate to variable, and then I'm going to select the variable I created called V increase. And we want to represent this as a slider. Now you could represent it as an input box where you type in a value, a drop down selection, or as buttons. In this case here, just going to select slider. We're going to enable update on drag. Configure the values. Our min value in this case here will be minus 100 and our max will be 100, and let's say we'll move it by increments of 10, and we'll put the slider label across the top. And you can see now we have a slider that starts in the middle at zero, and we'll, we'll go from 100 to minus 100 in either direction with increments of 10. So we'll go to general, turn off the title, and let's just go into view mode so you can just see how it works. Fairly simple. Now all we need to do is calculate our increase to this particular value. So let's go into our edit object and let's change uh, sum of sales to money. And then let's go into the expression and let's now add our variable. And I'm going to use the dollar sign, open parentheses, start typing V. You can see it automatically completes with our variable name and then close it and we click apply. Then we can give this a new label if we want. We just can call this uh, future sales and then go back into view mode. So now as we change our slider, you can see the values are either adding or subtracting our increments of 10. So starting at zero, adding 10, adding 10, etc., all the way up to 100. And that's pretty much all there is to it. It's a matter of adding the object and then attaching the variable to the expression. Okay, hope that was helpful. If you have any comments or questions, uh, please post them wherever this video is posted, whether it's in the Click community or on YouTube, and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks for your time, guys. Take care.